Now, with the United Party for National Development, UPND government, expected to present its first national budget for the year 2022 in the National Assembly. Persons with disabilities have high expectations with demands for an increased budgetary allocation to Zambia Agency for Persons with Disabilities, ZAPID. The organization says this will help strengthen its capacity to address the challenges persons with disabilities are faced with in the country. In an interview, one of the concerned members, Euphrasia Mbewe, a resident of Lusaka's Kawata compound, says people with disabilities in the country need government's assistance by increasing allocation of funds to Zapid in order to help them start up businesses to earn a living. And Thomas Ntonga has advised the UPND government to use the newly created Ministry of Small and Medium Enterprise to empower persons with disability in the country. Mr. Mtonga, who is also a former University of Zambia Yunza lecturer and Chasefu Patriotic Front parliamentary losing candidate in the August 12th general elections, says the government must, however, consider building capacity of persons with disabilities before empowering them with funds to avoid wastage of public resources. In less than two months, the United Party for National Development, UPND government, is expected to deliver its maiden budget to Parliament. And some people living with disabilities of Lusaka have called on it to increase allocation of funds to cater for their needs. Yofia Zambewe of Lusaka feels less has been done in the past to address the needs of people living with disabilities. Uh, last year's budget, they had put only a small amount towards us. As persons with, uh, living with disabilities, we are not called a vulnerable group. No, we are not vulnerable. We are persons living with disabilities, not vulnerable. We don't beg, but we have to have the right approach of human rights, not charity work like being given things, money, and everything, no, they should just consider us as normal people because we can do anything. So the new government should also at attend to us. They shouldn't forget us as persons living with disabilities. Even in the budget, make sure that they include us in their business as well. In an interview with Movie TV, Ms. Mbewe has advised government to allocate more funds to the Zambia agents for persons living with disabilities, ZAPID. They always put, there's, a just, there's just a small portion that goes towards the uh, Zambia Agency for Persons with Disabilities. So if it can be increased, they can be helped to be supported. They can even be able to uh, compete with the so-called uh, able-bodied, because whatever an able-bodied person can do one time, her, as a, a person living with disabilities, should do it maybe three times. She uses a sign language interpreter. A blind person uh, uses a guide. So the budget should always be doubled. Yes. We don't have to be equal with the so-called able-bodied. So whenever they are budgeting, our budget should be doubled. Another person living with a disability, Mr. Thomas Mtonga, who is also a former investor of Zambia Unza lecturer, has called on government to allocate more resources to persons with disabilities through the new Ministry of Small and Medium Enterprises. Since there is a, a Ministry of Small and Medium Enterprises, um, there are a lot of people with disabilities who are not doing anything. So uh, we need to link them to the Ministry I think that uh, maybe the ministry should be able to give loans, sustainable loans, to people with disabilities so that uh, people with disabilities should be able to sustain themselves. But of course, uh, before they do that, before they give them loans, there is need for proper training, otherwise it will be a disability allowance. Uh, as other people have done in the past. The country expects a new budget as the 119.6 billion quarter budget by the Patriotic Front PF delivered in September of 2020 will soon come to an end. 
amidst the ravaging impact of the COVID-19 and the country's debt burden, it remains to be seen on how much will be allocated to the social and economic sectors as 57.8 billion kwacha of the 2021 budget, which is 48.3%, was allocated to general public services, with the economic and social sectors getting 21.5 billion, which is 18% of the total budget, and 4.8 billion, which is 4% of the total budget, respectively. Reporting from Movie TV News, I'm Afia Skaptula in Osaka. Now, social media 